going to be a little bad and have a cigarette while my wife goes and gets the ring light. Uh, my aunt is staying with us for the holidays. So we are doing our unboxing outside on my laptop instead of inside on my PC. Because I, if we get loud or whatever, I don't want it to wake up my aunt. Because, you know, she's an old lady. She's an old farmer. She'll be, she'll be fine. But that's also why I have such a mountain man beard, as my family is from the mountains. So, once my wife comes back out with the ring light, I will try to find a spot to plug it in, and you'll be able to see a little better. Let's make sure we're using the right webcam as well. Uh, webcam. It's the right webcam. So you can see we have Christmas lights on the patio behind me, because that's how we see out here in the dark. Because I live in the forest. Which means it is very, very dark out here at night. And in the meantime, I just gonna relax and have a smoke. She's coming with the with the ring light. She's walking up the path. I can hear her feet going squick, 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 squick. And she's looking incredibly beautiful. Yeah. In her in her booty shorts and Deadpool sweater sweater. Oh Nobody's watching, it's fine, nobody heard that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but you're still recording. I'm still broadcasting, yes, but... All right. Now we stand up. I gotta pause it. No, I don't have to pause it. I just have to plug that into my laptop somewhere. Yeah. Those are HDMI ports. Uh, that's a different port. Do I have another USB port? I think there might be another one over on this side somewhere. I Here, don't you... see one. No, there's not. All right, well, then we'll just unplug the mouse and <laughs> use the mouse port for the ring light. Because I can just use the touchpad because I'm not gaming right now. So okay. unplug the mouse. Take this. Careful, you might. Okay. I was like, careful yeah, here. The this controller loose, is on floppy the... USB cord. Yeah. It's... Plug that in. Okay. It's got power. Alright, let's just hope that it works still. Oh. Super bright! There we go. That's Can you see the, the picture? A little better. More flesh colored. Ooh. Ghost. This is the one I normally use. Okay. This is just the alternating between various darkness colors. Uh -huh. I guess that one's probably the best one. I could do RGB and make it look like we were on a police chase. Oh, okay. See, I was looking from the, from the side. But, yeah. That one's probably the better flush tone. Yeah, color. it doesn't, doesn't whitewash our face. Yeah, okay. I like that one. You can actually, like, see. See, I told you she was incredibly sexy. All right, so what we are unboxing specifically is six or seven months ago, I pre-ordered Terraria minifigures when they first announced they were doing a sale. So we got them while we were down in Miami because they, they shipped to our house while we were on vacation with the family. They weren't supposed to start shipping until 2024. So the fact that we got ours early means they met and exceeded their their express uh i guess it would be kickstarter goal so we got our our box of minifigures that we will be unboxing today uh because we pre we pre-ordered we were also entered in for the chance to get the golden bunny and we did get a golden bunny so that that's already inside that came in the mail today 
Like literally today. Sitting on the on the dress. What? We already when it's not part of the unboxing. I know, but still show them. Well, I suppose we can always post pictures of that. Okay. Uh, should I should I call Matt and be like, hey, we're doing an unboxing? Yeah. You want to watch? Sure. Please tell me you have your phone. I've gone I have my phone. so many times. Okay. Of course I have my phone. That's what I use like as a flashlight. We're like in like total darkness before, and I'm like, this is why we got you a ring light, so that people can see your beautiful, beautiful beard. <laughs> why? I like your beard. And you like my butt. We even have mugs that say that. So, you know, we're weird. We can be weird together. Way too many people in my phone contact. There we go. Why don't you have them in the... Never mind. Have it in there alphabetically, so... I'm gonna go get the Golden Bunny. I'll be right back. Hey, welcome to the one viewer. We'll be doing the unboxing in just a moment. The wife is going to get the golden bunny that came as part of the pre-order special. I'm calling my friend to see if he's going to... Please leave your message. Oh, he, might be, he might be asleep. He, he had a pretty rough Christmas, so... Let's message him. Oh yeah, I forgot I, I goes off. Uh, obviously I'm smoking while we get everything set up. Let's see if people are, nope, they're not in the, the Discord there either. Alright. send him a discord message if he sees it he sees it if you don't he don't she's squeaking up the path it's also kind of raining so it's a little dingy and gray out here So the wife has come back with the golden bunny. Yeah. So we're going to do that one first, right? Yeah, we're going to do that because it, we got it not realizing what it was in the mail. And so we have... The beautiful golden bunny rabbit. That's our pre-order special that came in the mail today. Pretty exciting. And now... We're going to do the actual unboxing. So I have not opened these yet. I've just cut the tape on the box because I came outside. And so that needed to be cut so that I could actually get in the box. So we have... Uh, is that There's ashtray, an ashtray right? behind you. Okay. Let's go ahead and put that up. There we go. All right, we have in here. A big old box of Terraria minifigures. You can see it is from Chibi Chans. Well, not really because the ring light's gotten in the way, unfortunately. And you can see it comes from Terraria Shop Mystery Box. Now, I bought the full box because if you buy the full box, you're guaranteed to get all 12 figures. Come on. I don't have as big of a nails as I used to, so it's... There we go. We've ripped open the plastic. Right. 
Yesterday was Boxing Day. Today is Unboxing Day. Right. So we're going to start with whatever this one is. We're just going to go in order. Oh, it comes with a little uh, standable thing. I think you're probably supposed to put that up here, where those holes are. It's probably like an actual, like, just display, so they just... It, it's floppy. It, it's being a pain in the butt. Tell me you've never worked retail by telling me you've never worked retail. <laughs> Alright, so first box. We have a silver package. And in this silver package, we're going to do it this way. The regular goldfish. Aww. So we did not get the super rare golden goldfish, but that is okay. It is the regular goldfish. So goldfish, you can go in your box. I was hoping that wouldn't be the first one I opened, but it is yeah. what it is. Next box. This one's really stiff. The other end. Nice. We have the enchanted sword in the stone. Ah. We are now King Arthur. As my wife uh, so eloquently intoned the, the magic song. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we got coming up next. We're guaranteed all 12. I think you need to, like, hold the camera down a little bit so we can see you actually, like, you gotta open the box. There you go. But that's probably harder to get leverage. Oh, and this is series one, so there's another series? There will be another series coming out, yes. Oh, then you have to... Get that one. Because I spoil you. Well, I don't need to open it to know what this one is because of the shape of the figure inside. It is, it is eyeball Cthulhu. Oh! I can't. It's eyeball Cthulhu. It's all Cthulhu. Oh, jeez. Dun dun dun! I can't even Yeah, you can stuff too. It's super weird. I don't play Terraria, but I like watching you play. But because it's a mystery pack, it comes in a big old bag. They do not want you getting into those things. No, no, they do not. Like a savage, terrible. <laughs> And without looking at it, this is, uh, by feel, I think this is, by feel. uh, probably the regular bunny rabbit or the, the flowering tree. Regular bunny rabbit. We got the golden bunny rabbit as part of the pre-order. Yay. And they will have many, many babies. Yeah. Oh. Just like me and Candace. We gotta, we gotta keep these two apart. Or they're both girls. They're both boys. They can fight. They have the sword now. They can fight. Up next, we have. <laughs> just... I'm just gonna tear up my teeth. Oh, this one's a big one. Ooh. Oh, it's the flowering tree with all the slimes. <gasps> what? It's the it's the slime tree. That is really with the cool. umbrella. That's really cute. So it's got uh, the spike slime. Ooh. It's got the fire slime. Ouch! Let me guess. The green one's a toxic slime. The green one is a bunny slime. Okay. It, it ate a bunny and became a bunny slime. Oh, so it's a hop. And this one is a regular slime 
And the big blue one on the bottom is King Slime. Oh. That's cool. Oh. That's interesting. I like, I like. Watch this box, okay. Right here. Next box. Not that it really probably matters which box it goes into. No, because each box is the same size, so... Oh, this is one of the people figurines. Yeah. I wound up biting my own mustache when I did that. Yeah. Neither. I need to trim my beard. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> or you could do that weird, like, this little is... twist up. The solar armor slash melee character. Oh yeah, look at that. He's got the Sun Fury Spear. He's got the armor made out of fucking molten fire. That's so cool. Alright. Now we're getting into the second half. Just so I can grab one and then I'll be able to grab all the others. Yeah. Alright. First box of second half. We have. I'm feeling around. Another humanoid figure. I'm gonna guess it's the green goddess lady. You're gonna. With the pink flower. You're gonna guess it's the dryad? Mm hmm. I'm guessing it's the vortex armor. We'll see who's right. The short Wait, answer, neither of us. It's the Nebula oh. armor. It's the mage character. Oh, that's cool. He's even got like an orb and everything. Yeah, he's got the, the Nebula Arcanum on that his hand. That is so cool. That is really neat. I can't. Uh... There you go. There we go. That is so cool. Hoja! Such a child. Okay. All right. Second box of the second half. We have another humanoid figure. All right. I'm going to go with the same guess as before. That it's the Nebula figure. Hmm. You want to feel first? Yeah. It could be the guide or the dryad or the zombie as well, but... I don't think it's the zombie. Because the zombie looks like he's got spiky hair. Hmm, I don't know. And we have the guide. Why does he look like friggin' Shaggy from Scooby Doo? Well, he's about as annoying, so that oh, kind of tracks. Okay. But yeah, basically, like every time you talk to him, he offers you a pointless tip. Oh. But if you put an item in the the crafting advice section, he'll tell you every item that can be made with it. So he's useful. But he's also annoying as crap because he gives you a bunch of useless tips whenever you talk to him. So he's like that, 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 what is it, uh, Clippy? Yes, he's like Clippy. <laughs> <laughs> he's the Clippy of Terraria. <laughs> hey, listen. No, that would be Navi. That's different. <laughs> that, that's worse. Oh. I think now we're just guessing. Uh, this one is not a humanoid figure, I don't think. You want you want to feel and guess? Sure. Uh, I think it's the guy with the the, the blue face. You yeah, it's definitely the blue face guy. You with think the, with, you... with 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 the wings? I felt the wings in there. So you think it's the the vortex set? Okay. Yes, I am betting it's the vortex set. It is, in fact, the Vortex set. 
<laughs> you can see he's got his uh, dark onyx blaster, and he's got his wings. Because he's got the, the vortex pack. Yep. There's the box. Cool. Oh, his wings are all like... Pointy. Almost like angel wings. See how they're all like spiky? That's cool. He's got his cool gun looking thing. Oh, can you see it? Too much light. I don't know. It's cool. He's like ready to fight. Well, all of the, the humanoid characters except for the guide are combat ready. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. So we have basically uh, the summoner, the zombie, and the dryad left. So they're all going to be humanoid. Okay. And I can already tell you which one this is, but I want to see your guess. the summoner because he's got this little like thing up here Something. you are correct that thing would be the stardust dragon staff thank you yeah i know nothing about terraria oh look we're both right he's got the stardust armor with the stardust wings and the stardust dragon staff and he's going to come up and look at you in the face Ooh, that's too close, too close. <laughs> he summons things. Did he summon demons and stuff, or just like other Well, fighters? he... So, the, the Stardust Dragon is the second or third strongest summon in the game, depending on how you look at it. Why does his, like, mass give <coughs> Power Rangers? It's giving Power Rangers. Like, absolutely Power Rangers. Like, is this... This looks like a Power Rangers character. So what that armor set does is it allows you to summon three extra minions and greatly empowers their damage. Then you would pair that with the Papyrus Scarab, which allows you to summon an extra minion and increase its knockback. The Hercules Beetle, which increases minion knockback even further. The Necromantic Scroll, which allows you to summon an extra minion. And then you have the Summoner's Emblem, which increases their flat damage. And so that allows you to summon eight minions. Or one really, really big Stardust Dragon. Go with the dragon. Always go with the dragon. So at max summoning, the Stardust Dragon hits for like 3 or 4k per second. Okay. Your uh, bet the single best... <coughs> weapon in the game, the Zenith, hits for about 6k per second. Now the thing with summons is they allow you as the player to use other weapons, including the Zenith. It won't hit for near as hard, but you can basically double your damage if you use the Zenith. So what you do is you take, for example, uh, your Icker debuff you put on your whip, and then you whip the boss, which allows them to take extra crit damage from your summons. And they get a 20 less defense debuff. And then while your summons are hitting them, you're also hitting them with the Zenith. So you wind up doing like 13, 14k damage and they just... Oh, okay. Alright. If two left, a Dryad and a Zombie. This one's a Zombie. You are probably correct. Because I don't feel any bumps on the head. Yeah, you were looking for the flower too? Yep. Let's see. Yep. Definitely a zombie. And you can <laughs> see he's got the manacles on his hand. Which, when you kill them, you can get the shackle and it provides one defense. But that's why they're like the starter enemies. And he goes... <sighs> Huge head. 
which means this last one has to be the dryad. I wanted the last one to be the fish. But yeah, the golden fish. But it is what it is. I still got a golden bunny. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Bugs, leave me alone. Yeah, I know. Florida. Now we do live in a swamp. So. And, as suspected, because there couldn't have been anybody else. It's me! <laughs> the 800-year-old dryad. She's 800? She looks good for 800. It's all those herbal essences she'd be using. And the fact that she keeps telling you to fight all the corruptions in your world. Ah, yeah. It's me! Where's her box? <laughs> I didn't know if you wanted to show it off in front of the camera, but, well, as you can see, the box is now empty. I was hoping for the rare golden goldfish, but it's a 1 in 300, so it, it was not going to be a thing, necessarily. Whereas the, the golden bunny for the pre-order is pretty much a guarantee, because it's half of them. And I made sure I went in the higher tier, so I was pretty much guaranteed to get a bunny. <laughs> yeah. But there you go. I have a Terraria minifigures. And she's now putting all the boxes back in the box. Yeah. Of course. As if we were to, as if we would ever sell these figures. Well, no, I'm just for organization. They give you a box to organize it and everything. It's great. Fantastic. Would you say it's fantastic? Yes, it's fantastic. So you said you got these, you ordered these six months ago and you got them now? I ordered that, I pre ordered them seven months ago with the expectation they would arrive in 2024. Do we even need that box? No, we could just set it on top. Okay. We could have, have a golden bunny guarding all, all the other figures. Yep. Golden Bunny of Fortune. But so yes, yeah. I pre-ordered them about seven months ago, yeah. and with the expectation they'd ship in 2024, because I got in like literally right when they announced the pre-order, I I bought them. So no, they sent it on Christmas. They're like, oh, it's close to Christmas. Sure, we'll give them an early Christmas present. Well, the the company that makes them is headquartered in the UK. So what happened is. They sent it through the Royal Mail Service, who then sent it to the United States, sent it through FPS First Class. Uh, who send it? Who sended me this message? Who is? Who da? Who da? Who da? Oh, it's a band folk. It's a band folk. It's a person who's about to be banned. Why? What? Because they're offering Twitch bots and stuff. No. Uh, no, we don't have that kind of money. Well, we wouldn't do that anyway, because that's, that's not a what thing. We're about. I mean, thank you for offering, but no thank you. He has been banned. Oh, really? The one person? Who commented on, on our unboxing is now banned. So what did they comment? <clears throat> They said, hi, I'd like to offer you the service of hosting and twitchbotting your channel. And I was like, nope, banned. What? One, that's against TOS. Viewbotting is specifically against terms of service. Okay, I was like, TOS is... <laughs> so... I'm not smart in this, you know that. I know, but... So... I'm ignorant. Uh, Viewbotting specifically is against terms of service. A lot of the uh, less ethical but still technically legal things, like embedding on specific websites, etc., like that, I'm also opposed to just on moral grounds that I want you to see my, my stream not in a tiny invisible box on somebody's website, but like actually go to the stream and interact. Yeah. I don't want, you know, view bots or anything like that. And anybody who advertises a service that could be against the terms of service or against my ethical guidelines, I will ban. 
It's have a pinned you... message on my channel. Okay, that was going to be my next question. She's like, well, have you communicated do not, this? Do not advertise these services to me. I will ban you. Okay, so it has been communicated and stated in your sign-on message or somewhere on your page. Basically, on the, when you come to see my stream, on every stream, that's a pinned message. Okay, I don't, I don't look that closely. Well, ordinarily, you wouldn't see it because you've already seen the message, so... Oh, so, when, like for, so it's for first-timers. Yeah, first-timers, they'll see the pin mess. They'll see a, a, a thumbtack on the top of the stream. And you can go and find it in the, the chat panel as well. And it'll say, there's one pinned message, and it's, don't do these things. So and you'll when be fine. I go to send you a message, it'll say, it'll, like, pop up. No, it's just... So I can't show you on on my end because I have a different chat filter on this this one. Mm -hmm. But uh, normally next to the three dots right here, if you're a viewer, will be a, a pin like a thumbtack. Okay. And that's where you can view it. Yes. Oh, okay. And so it's not like they they don't know. Right, and if you're a first time viewer, my chat warning is. Check the pinned message. So community guidelines for viewing your channel. Yes. Okay. Well then, yeah, I'm sorry. Like, if you didn't assume the gender, I'm sorry. Um, don't look at that. Or see that normal, and still just with offering this is completely stable. Well, thank you. You know content or you know that was really cool you should do more like this or something but no they just yeah they just to... they just posted that okay well unfortunately you had to ban probably another bot yeah I <laughs> guarantee it. Yeah. so like a smoker you smoke hanging with joey well, I mean, she's usually sitting in the, the fuzzy chair on my charger to keep warm, so. Because <laughs> I, do, I do come out here to smoke and stuff, because, you yeah. know, I am a smoker. Yeah. And I'll, I'll, like, play Facebook games while I'm out here on my laptop. Yeah. But today we were doing the live stream out here because, like I said, my aunt's here. She's asleep, and I'm trying not to be rude, so. Yeah. All right. With all that said and done, let's go ahead and end the stream. I thank you all, one person, for watching, and I guess I should thank the bot for being stupid and getting himself banned. Wait, so there was somebody else watching aside from the bot? It's probably the Twitch moderator, if I'm being honest. Oh, okay. Like, they actually sit here and watch everybody's videos to... They, they have a, a bot program. It, it still counts as...